Hello Math Champions. In this video, we are going to learn something about properties of addition. Now, we know that whenever we are learning something, we have to know why we are learning it, isn't it? What is the meaning of properties? Properties means characteristics. Just like now you are there. Say for example, I am there. What are my characteristics? Um, I have long hair, I have cut my hair like this, I wear specs, right? These are all my characteristics, my properties. If you have seen me, you know, you will know how much, how much height I am, right? So how, how heavy I am, what is my weight? All these are my properties. Now, why do we have to learn properties of addition? Now, if you know about some person, you can deal with that person very nicely. No, if you like, no, what do they like? What do they don't like? Then it is easier for you to deal with them. Similarly, if you know many things about addition, how it behaves, what it does, okay, then you will be able to deal with it and solve things easily with addition. So that's why it's important to learn properties of addition. So, we are going to learn these properties in many different ways. First of all, we will take some things, right? Let's say three balls and then four balls. Okay, four balls. We have taken these two things. What is the meaning of addition? Addition means you are joining all of these things. There is a three here. And there's a 4 here, right? Addition means you bring it all together. That's the meaning. That means what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this 4 from here and I'm going to put nearby to this. That's the meaning. That's the meaning of addition, putting it all together. Now, when we put all together, how much are we getting? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, what we get at the end of the story of addition is the sum. It's called as a sum. Now, the same thing can be represented on a number line. Let's take this as a 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, how do we show this 3 plus 4? So, we start from the 0 and we go 3 steps forward. Right? 1, 2, 3. Three. Three steps we have gone forward. That means from here to here we have come. That's a three. Plus means again you have to forward. Go increase. Keep on increasing. So how much are we supposed to increase? Four. One, two, three, four. We have increased four. Right? That means from here, this place, we have come till here. And that's a four. See? Inside this, there's a four. Inside this umbrella, there's four. 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Now, we reach the answer 7. Did you notice? 3 is here, 4 is here. 3 is 3 jumps inside this first umbrella, 4 jumps inside the second umbrella and you reached 7. That's good. That's very nice. Now, you did you know that this, you can also write 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Now, whenever somebody tells you something, you should not accept it just like that. Let it be your teacher, let it be me. You should not accept just like this. You should ask why, how. Let me prove how, okay? So, let's take one more number line. Same kind of numbers, let's write. Okay, let's write. Now, 4 First 4, right? So, first from the 0, we have to start. 4 means 1, 2, 3, 4. That means under the first umbrella, you have the 4. Next is a 3. So, we started from here. So, we ended here. So, we start here. 1, 2, 3. That means there's 3 things under this umbrella. Where did I reach? 7. See, the same 7. Now, from this, what did we understand? From this, what did we understand about addition? We understood something. If 3 plus 4 is 7, I can just swap the numbers. Swap the numbers means take this number this side, that number this side. 
if I'm doing like that, it will be 4 plus 3. Both of these things are giving the same answer 7, 7 only. That means, is it true for any number? Is it true for any number? You can check. That means, if it's a property, means if I'm wearing specs, will I wear specs every day? Yes, I will wear specs every day. Right? That's a property of me. Right? Like that. Will it be true for any number? Let's see. 1 plus 6. 1 plus 6 is a 7. Shall I swap these numbers? 6 and 1. Yes, 6 plus 1 is a 7. So, that means any time, let's take any number, you were swapping. Swapping means exchanging. Okay, now all this is fine. Just like how I call it as I wearing my specs. It's a property. The property also has a name. And very important children to remember the name. This property, this quality of addition is called is called if you know you can tell is called commutative i want you to tell this word several times as well as write it because many a times people learn these things yeah this 3 plus 4 is same as 4 plus 3 they learn that but they never learn the name of it so this is called commutative property Next, we'll go to the one more property. We saw addition of two numbers. Now, let's see addition of three numbers. Let me take numbers like 1, 4 and 2. I'm going to add these three numbers. How many different ways can I add? You might say, yeah, what is the way? 1 plus 4 is 5 and 5 plus 2 is a 7, right? So, that means what? First you did 1 plus 4. You got a 5. With that 5, you added this 2. Right? And you got a 7. Right? So, we will represent it as, show it like, first I am going to do 1 and 4. With that answer, I am going to add a 2. Is there any other way to do? Let me take the same numbers. Is there any other way to do? Children think. Math champions think, right? Think. What is the other way to do? Yes, I can add 4 and 2 first and then I can add the 1. Is it not? I can do that way also. Let's see. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 becomes a 7, right? This is a 5. 1 plus 4 is a 5 plus 2 gives me a 7. Now here, 4 plus 2 is a 6. With that, I am adding 1. I am getting 7. Now, you already learned that 1 plus 6 is same as 6 plus 1. Correct? You already learned that. What is the property called as? Commutative. Now, before some you accept anything, you have to prove, right? So, let's do. What is the first addition? 1 and 4. So, 1 then I have to jump by 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. That means in the second umbrella, I have the 4. The first umbrella, I have the 1, right? Then, now, did you see? You reach the 5 and we have the 5 here. Then, after that, plus 2. Again, plus 2 means going forward. So, 2. So, under this third umbrella, there is a 2 and we reached a 7. Correct? Now, how do we represent this second way of addition? What did we add first? 4 and 2. So, under the first umbrella, you have the 4, 4 steps, right? So, we have come till 4. Then, 4 plus 2. Okay, 1, 2. We reach till 6. If you see here, we have reached till 6 here. That's a 6 here. Correct? Now, after that, we are adding 1. You also know 1 plus 6 is same as 6 plus 1. Though you are seeing a 1 plus 6 here, we know because of commutative property, 1 plus 6 is same as 6 plus 1. 
So we have got, we have come to 6. 6 plus 1, right? 6 plus 1 means under this umbrella 1. Where did we reach? 7. Now, from this, what did we understand about addition? Means, when we have some numbers, we can group it in any way. Important. What is the word? Group. In the commutative property, what was the word? Swap. Swap means exchange. 1 plus 6 is the same as 6 plus 1. In the commutative property, it was swap. Now, this one tells however you group an add, still the answer will be same. You can group first two numbers or last two numbers. Do we want to group first and the last number? Let's see. That also let's try. What's wrong, right? Math is about experimenting. Okay. Now, 1 plus 4 plus 2 is there. Now, what I'll do is, I will first add these two. 1 plus 2 is a 3. Now, with the 3, I have to add this 4. No? 3 plus 4. That gives you a 7. Wow! I came to know that however I can group, still the answer will come same. That's especially for addition. Now, like every time I tell, everything has a name and you have to remember the name. Swapping, like exchanging, was called as commutative. Now, this grouping is called as associative. Associative is called associative property of addition. I hope you got what is the meaning of commutative and associative properties. There's one more property. It's called a distributive property. And I want you to check out my another video in the YouTube channel. The link of it will be there in the this, this video's description itself. Check that out to understand the third property of addition. Okay. More and more you learn the qualities of addition. More and more you'll become friends with addition. And therefore, you'll start loving mathematics. You love your friends, don't you? Yes. So, now, make addition your friend. How will you make it your friend? By understanding more about it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already have not subscribed. Until the next video, see you. Bye-bye.